your statewide forecast with meteorologist Pat Walker. It's Thursday evening, a stormy day and stormy evening across the state of Arkansas. First started with a lot of rainfall in northwest Arkansas where we had a flash flood watch and flash flooding. All these dots here we see in the state, those are reports of severe weather. Now, one thing I want you to notice right off the bat here from Boone County through Marion into Baxter County, four different storm reports three damage reports, one measured wind gust speed at Mountain Home, all in a line. Same storm, and today the National Weather Service will be surveying this to determine whether or not it was a tornado. They believe it was a tornado at this point, but they're going to confirm it today. So we had damage in Boone County uh, with a house and some power lines toppled there. Also in Boone County at Everton, we had another uh, home uh, at Everport there, uh, damage. In Marion County, damage at a home in Bruno, at Bruno Pyatt School. Actually, it was the school damage at Bruno there in uh, Marion County. Over in Baxter County, that one right there, that is a wind measured wind gust speed of 68 miles per hour at the Mountain Home Airport. So straight in the line, one of those cells we had last night, probably going to be going down as a tornado. Also, some other wind damage at evening shade, power lines down, power outages across Sharp County, several trees uprooted near Highway 354 in Center and Sharp County too. So Sharp County getting a different storm there. One hail report in the state last night. Remember yesterday we were thinking hail's not going to be a big issue. We had just one report of one inch size hail that was in Clinton and Van Buren County. And of course, we started off the morning with flash flooding in Benton County and Washington County. Roads closed, road water over the roadways as well in Bentonville and in Fayetteville. Thankfully, those waters are going down. Also down in Sevier County in southwest Arkansas, a large limb fell, on, fell from a tree breaking a window in a home. Not a big one, but you know, if that's your home, that's scary and that's significant if that's your home. So not widespread damage, but yes, there was some last night on Thursday evening.